Hello everyone, this is Plinio in Zara Yona Lives and I just want to record this video to uh, register my preference, my per personal preference for the top 15 Super Nintendo games and I'll start with this Hagani so the reason I put this in my top 15 is just because I really really love ninja games and I don't think the Super Nintendo is much rich as the Sega Genesis for ninja games so this one I think is a really really good game so you have several power-ups the gameplay is very straight and fluid so I believe this is a great game in the ninja style that we can play in the Super Nintendo so I never finished this game but I think it's pretty bright there's a tons of tons of power-ups and things that you can do so yeah I recommend this game a lot because I really really love Hagani number 14 Super Mario World I really love this game it came in my Super Nintendo and it's a for me it's a perfect platforming game I really like to, to play with uh, Yoshi and also getting the, the power-ups getting the cape I really think uh, this platform is one of the best ones that was made for the console and yeah had a lot of fun and this is record recorded in my heart and for me this is deserve this game reserves a a very special place in my top 15 number 13 teenage mutant ninja turtles tournament fighters yeah i really love this game this is fighting game one of the best that i think that is in the platform i really i was a, a big uh, turtles fan when i was a teenager and this game i think has all the requirements to, to be a great uh, fighting game i like the special moves that they have pressing the four buttons at the same time, um, all the all the powers are very easy to to release, and uh, all the turtles world is, is well represented there. Very colorful. Uh, there are many bad fighting games in the Super Nintendo, but this is not one of them. This is really something really enjoyable. And yeah, way to go, turtles! Number thirteen. Number 12, Super Mario Kart. Totally in love for this game too today. I love the fact that you have a, a hidden category if you beat the other two. And it's really a challenging game that to, to finish, to completely finish the game, it's not, it's not easy. So I love when the game push you to to do your best in, in a race game especially and I think this this game has a special um, it's very very charming game you, you have um, all these shortcuts that you can have uh, the characters are all there it's very uh, beautiful game using the mode 7 so yeah I think Mario Kart is one of the card games that I had most fun in the Super Nintendo. Number 11, Samurai Showdown. Another fighting game. And yeah, a good one. I love fighting with weapons. So, Samurai Showdown, I think, was a very well done port of the arcades. Uh, the only bad side is that the characters are not very uh, big you know so it looks like the zoom is in the uh, extreme uh, far cam camera so i don't think it's uh, the best solution that they could have on that however the game is so good i mean you have all the characters there 
all the arcade moves are there so i had this game when i when i was a teenager and i had lots of fun i totally recommend you if you, if you never played this one it's a good port from the original arcade game so i really love samurai showdown all the franchise and this is in my top 15 for the super nintendo All right, number 10, no Mortal Kombat 2. Yep, I'm really not a Mortal Kombat fan, but my goodness, this game was so well ported from the arcade. So it's, I had lots of fun. I have a friend, very good friend that had this game. So I went to his house many times to play. And it's obviously much better to play if two, uh, in two players than one. But still, it, they made so much effort to make this game great, and it's really good. I mean, I, I'm like I said, I'm not a fan of Mortal Kombat fans, but this one, I love. I love to play. It's probably my favorite Mortal Kombat game of all time. Number nine, Star Fox. When I rented this game the first for the first time, I got shocked at how good this game is. I'm not really super fan of shooting games, but this game is so good. I and mean, you have different, you have training mode, you have different paths to to follow if you want to get a more uh, difficult experience so obviously in the time that those graphics have much more impact than today but still how good this game is still today you can still have a lot of fun it still is challenging so well done super nintendo star fox it's a very good game in your library Number eight, Turtles in Time. Well, how can I add more compliments to this game that was already done? So this is for me one of the best beaten ups already or the hack and slash was already made. And in the time, I just couldn't stop playing this game. And right now I think still is one of the best that were was made in history so lots of fun two players it's, it's, it's very similar to the arcade experience so maximum recommendation for turtles in time Number seven, another Konami game, but this time a different superhero, Batman Returns. Fantastic game. I had the experience to finish this game a few weeks ago, and I, I still had a lot of fun comparing to 30 years ago. So I think the, the soundtrack is nearly like perfect to me for a Batman game. It's a very uh, relaxing beaten up, I can say. It's not too hard, but it's not easy as well. So you just don't get tired of beating those guys, you know. So I really like this game. I don't like too much of the the other parts that you you just throw your batch ranks, but other than that, I think all the game brings a lot of fun all the time. So. 
I wish the kids would know this game as we did in the past. So, Batman Returns, my number seven. Number six, Naga Mansell's World Championship. If you like racing game and if you like Formula One, you have to like this game because this game tries to uh, mimic the Formula One, and it, I think for for the for a 16 bit game, bits game, it's very well done. So you have all the official drivers, you have the official tracks, you can replace tires, you can choose uh, your wings, your engine. You can you can do a lot in this game. I didn't beat yet the simulation game, but the arcade style is. I beat it a few times, and the, I love the ending. I love the the song that they put in the ending at the ending. And yeah, for a racing game, for the Super Nintendo, I think this is uh, the best Formula One game that they have. So, for me. Always a lot of fun with Nigel Man, so this is my number six. I think it's the best one that they brought. Number five, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. So I'm a sports fan and I really like like soccer and basketball games and hockey games as well. So this one, I think I love that they could crunch the arcade aspect into the sport. It's well, well succeeded and still today I have a lot of fun playing this game. So I like playing with Chicago Bulls because that was the, the team I, I liked it when I was a teenager. And yeah, I think I still like more the, the Sega Genesis version since they have song and uh, music during the, the game, I think makes more fun. But still, this is a super game. Graphics, very good graphics, very good. Very good sound. Yep. Yeah. I play with my son sometimes and we have a lot of fun with NBA Jam. So this is a game that I recommend for pure fun for hours and hours and hours. Number four, Super Metroid. This game is considered for many people the top game of the console. And for me, it has to be in the top five. So what can we say? It's just a perfect game for this for its time. It's, we have very beautiful graphics. We have very scary and terrifi terrifying sound. The level design is the level design is just great, it's just compelling. You always wanna explore, explore and find more secret secrets and yep, it's just a game that you'd never get tired and the story is very well done. So yeah, it's a jewel in the Super Nintendo library. Three Look at this song. It speaks by itself. Top Gear. Yeah, I'm a racing fan. And for me, this is the best racing game of the console. So the experience with two players is better, but still you have a lot of fun playing Top Gear even by yourself. And having like, I think 12 car, uh, 20 cars. 
so you always it's so addicting you wanna keep passing the cars until you win so you have the turbos you have oops you have the tire the gas that you have to be worried about so so you can it's a big pack a big thing of piece of the strategy and this is what I didn't like in the Top Gear 2 that they took it out the the recharging uh, aspect of the game actually refueling so Top Gear for me it's a lot of fun alone or with someone else best game of the the best uh, racing game of the console for me and this is in my top three Number two, Super Street Fighter 2. And how can you don't love this game? When I was a teenager, I think there was a fever all around. Everybody wanted to play Street Fighter in one way or another. So this one, I think, brought a lot of... Um, brought the new, new fighters, right? You have very high difficulty to, to play... When you're playing the, the maximum level. So, still is a little slow compared to the arcade game and probably to the Sega Genesis game, but still, it's a super uh, well done game, well ported. And for a 16 bits machine, you can't find anything better than Super Street Fighter 2. Number one, another Konami game. Guess what? International Superstar Soccer Deluxe. My favorite Super Nintendo game. So I played this game so many hours that that was by far the play that I, the game that I played most in the console. And for me. You can't get further with 16-bit six, machines, machine with uh, for a soccer game. This is, for me, the best game that it could have made. So I like the deluxe edition because they made the field bigger, so you have more space to run and to to do more stuff. I think that was the key, key change from the the first game, but. We still talk about Alejo today, which is the number seven of Brazil. Oh, I think my controls are switched. Switched, but yeah, this game for me, I remember doing memorable goals, goals that I I thought was really hard to do, and yeah, I mean for me, creativity here brings no limit for you. You can create many kinds of goals, and if you like soccer, like I do, this is the game for you. This is the game that you have a lot of fun. Oh, hit the post. And this is my favorite game of the Super Nintendo library. So, thank you for watching. 